Well, hello, it's a great Southern Ancient Miniature Man here, and I've got a review of the Afghan Tribesman 1800s to 1900 by Perry Miniatures. There's the 36 uh, plastic figures in here. Take a quick look at the box, uh, some nice artwork on the back of uh, painting schemes for some of the guys inside. So let's crack it open and have a look. So you do get. Um, Four of the main sprues, and then there's two of the command sprues. The, the command sprues have two figures each. This is the main, um, the main sprue here. Let me just grab this one. So you'll see some interesting bits. You've got two guys in the crouching position, which is very cool. And then you've got these legs that attach to this guy. So four different poses there. Then you've got another four individual poses here, a few standing, a few running, and you've got two on the command sprue, so 10 different poses, which is pretty good for a set of just um, 36. The other thing that gives you great options to do individual figures is none of the arms are attached initially, so you can obviously uh, attach both sides in all sorts of different ways. Um, they have many good, nice heads, with mostly with the turbans, and just put it up that way so you can see them pretty well. Um, any nice flowing turbans. There's a few with a different sort of fuzzy hat here. One, turn it that way so you can see his face. Fuzzy hat. Uh, and obviously I've got these uh, to use for my Garamantian army, which is, is a YouTube video if you haven't seen that already. So I've done them all without using any gunpowder weapons. So there's enough uh, shield swords spears here to do them all as ancient figures if you have that in mind but having said that the, the guns look so cool i think i'm going to do a few in their intended fashion so the command sprue i've actually um taken mine out of the command sprue and used those guys already so i'll just quickly show you on the quite a useful booklet that comes with it you've got two different um, poses again and then some of the things that uh, sway me in favor of this kit rather than the other uh, one of the same era which is the warlord um, war games atlantic kit sorry is the few cool features on this sprue you've got um, a drum kit here and you've got this uh, guy drawing the sword out of his scabbard which is pretty cool something i haven't seen on other kits before and while I've got this booklet out this is a very nice addition I haven't seen that from other manufacturers so it's got a lot of interesting history of the conflict Anglo-Afghan war there and again some great um, photos of painted up figures um, map of the region and then yeah, demonstrations of how to make various um, figures from a kit Oh, and that's the other cool thing. That there's a few of those guys there with their really long uh, spears for use as standard, and you've got these uh, paper flags that you can cut out and attach. So, um, yeah, it's a great kit. 36 figures in all. Scale-wise, exactly like uh, Victrix and uh, Ajima sort of scale. So there's a Perry Miniature Afghan on the left, and that's a Victrix Archer. A Persian archer on the right. I'll show you a few more guys that I've made up and uh, see what you think about them. Thanks. So here's some things I've done with the kit so far. The two guys coming up who completed uh, as intended from the kit. Uh, I love that guy drawing his sword. He's a very cool command figure. And then we've got this one with a large spear designed to hold one of those flags uh, and similarly his mate there. Then I've um, used the arms and the drum out of the kit to uh, add to a Numidian cavalryman there. And you can see these three crouching guys at the front are going to be uh, Carthaginians. Uh, so I used different helmets but, and different arms, but uh, the crouching poses are really handy for that kind of conversion. So very many options with them. You can use them as ancient. Uh, Easterners, uh, Arabs, um, and I'm certainly going to use them uh, in a whole range of different cultures from um, Bactrians to Sogdians, uh, maybe uh, Persians, um, and so on. So thanks. There we go. Now the letter of the day comes from Spiros Papanikolaou in Heraklion. 
And he says, Great Southern Malacca man. Do a Cretan Toxitoy, Mutsa. Uh, well, thanks, Spiros. Uh, I will get around to doing some Arches of Crete, um, and I'll post them at another date. Uh, good on you, mate. See ya.